Hi folks, welcome to another Studio 42 tutorial. In this video, let's learn how to jazz up our presentations with an animated gradient slide. So let's get cracking. Let's start by creating a circle and removing its outline. Then right click on your circle and go to edit points. Play with these edit points and change your circle into an organic looking amoeba like shape. Play around with it and create any kind of shape you want. Here I've created three shapes using the same method. The next step for us is to fill each shape with a different style of gradient. As we've already discussed in previous videos how to add gradients to our shapes, I'm simply going to import three pre-created gradient shapes here. Now that we have our three shapes ready, let's select them all and increase their size. Let's align them to the center. Press Ctrl and Shift and start dragging them. Now we need to play with the transparencies of each gradient so we can see through the overlapping shapes. Once you have your transparencies set to your liking, let's select the first shape on top, go to Shape Effects and go to Soft Edges. Select the 50 point option. Do the same with the other two shapes. This helps all three shapes to merge in with each other a lot better. Now, let's again align them in the center and control shift and drag the shapes so they fill the slide completely. Move around the shapes a bit. Don't worry if there's a little bit of white showing in the background. We'll rectify that at a later step. Now that we have our shapes aligned, it looks something like this. Now let's animate our shapes. Go to the Animations tab and open your animation pane. Select your first shape and add the Fade animation to it. Then go to Add Animation and add the spin emphasis animation as well. Once you've done that, right click on the spin animation and go to effect options. Under the effect tab, click on auto reverse and under the timing tab, change your duration to approximately 10 seconds. And also set the time to run until end of slide. Click on OK. We need to add one more animation. So let's go back to Add Animation and add Grow and Shrink. Once again, let's right click and go to Effect Options. Click on Auto Reverse. The size is fine at 150, I think. And in the timing, uh, let's, let's change this to 3 seconds and repeat until end of slide. Set both these emphasis animations to run with previous. Let's have a look at how it looks. So our shape is moving. 
Now use the animation painter and transfer the same animations to the other two shapes. Set all of these to run with each other. And there you go. You have a beautifully animated gradient template. When you test it, if you're not happy with the way the shapes are moving, you can always move the shapes about, changing their order or which shape comes on top and which shape comes on bottom. Move them around until you find the perfect animation that suits your presentation. Another thing we can do here is right click format background and change the background color. Depending on the background color you choose, your gradients will look different. This is on a black background. Choose a maroon background and that adds a little more depth to your gradients. And for our final step, let's add some text. Add a text box, type in your content. I've used the lot font over here and what I've decided to do is remove the color from this text and retain it over here. So right click on your text, go to format shape. Don't go to shape options, go to text options. Click on no fill and give your text an outline. And here I simply change the color of the text to white. Increase the font size to your liking. Align your fonts. If necessary, you can add some animation to this as well. And this is how it looks. Adding motion gradients can totally up the wow factor in your presentations. But do be careful not to overdo it or it may distract from your main messaging. And that's all for today folks. Keep on creating and see you next time.